Welcome to thefestibularDisorder.com. My name is Gordon Johnson. I'm an attorney who spends his entire practice representing those with brain injuries. When we're talking about the vestibular system, we're talking about disorders of balance, dizziness, and vertigo. The vestibular system, um, I guess, is by most people is thought of as the system that provides us with our ability to stay upright, to have balance. However, in reality, the vestibular system is something else. The vestibular system is actually the system of our brain and its um, adjacent structures and uh, nerve pathways that allow our eyes to focus when our head is moving. I'm holding my camera. The reason I'm holding my camera is that I want you to picture what would happen to my camera or the, the photograph I were to take if I was going to wave my camera around while I took a picture. Now I'm going to move my head around like I would move this camera around. And even though I'm moving my head around, I can still focus on that camera that's now videotaping me. I can turn my head and I can still focus on that camera. I can run down a football field and still catch a pass. Probably not as well as I once did, but I still could probably catch a frisbee anyway. The reason I can do that is that inside of our brain is something called the vestibules, the inner ears canals. And in these canals are little hairs. And these little hairs have a way of sensing when I move my head. And what the, res the net result of that is when they sense that I'm moving my head, they create a perfectly counterbalancing reflex that makes my eyes stay stable with the object I'm focusing on, even though my head is moving. While our eyes work like a camera, our minds really work like a computer. Um, our minds actually have something that is essentially equivalent to RAM. RAM is um, random access memory. It is that limitation of our computer in terms of how many different things it can do at once. Um, and as most of you who have ever worked with um, downloading a, a uh, still camera image know that anything that's visual requires a whole lot more memory and a whole mo lot more RAM than something that's just text. Most of our thoughts are basically the equivalent to a text message on your computer. In contrast, those things that we see, those things that require us to process visual information, are far more demanding of our brain's ability to attend. Now, as I look at a camera, as I keep my head still and focus on that camera, I'm requiring more of my mind's attentional capacity to focus than to do other simpler tasks. But when I start to move my head, I am now not dealing with a still image. I am now dealing with a movie image that must run from my eyes into my brain, process the information from my inner ear, and run it back through. And when the brain is operating properly, the vestibular system is operating properly, that is done in the background, just like our computers, operating systems run in the background. But when it's not running efficiently, when it's not running properly, what we're required to do is transpose bad information into something we can use. Thus, people who have a malfunctioning vestibular system can walk. People with a malfunctioning vestibular system can ride in a moving car. But what happens is it terribly taxes their ability to attend. It completely eliminates their ability to multitask. And of course, as anybody who has a significant vestibular disorder will tell you, you get sick to your stomach, like if you were watching a movie camera that someone had done pointing the movie camera like this, scanning around a room and picture it in a moving car. 